Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from vitalcoaching.com and the topic for this video is open relationship or committed relationship. If you are like me within the community which is, you know, spiritual, open, the nomads, the travelers, uh, especially when I go back to San Francisco, to the Bay Area, to California, um, I'm often in a situation where the people I'm around are very open sexually. It means that they live within a world where it's okay to be in polyamorous situations, multiple partners, you know, sometimes they have certain boundaries. It means that they will be sexually exclusive or have intercourse only with one person, but then there is lots of levels of intimacy that might be shared with other people. And sometimes it is uh, the traditional model of being in an exclusive relationship. It means that you are intimate with just one person. So what is the model that is right for you? And um, the best thing to do is to, <laughs> to try them out, to experiment with them. In my experience, uh, coaching experience, because of speaking about that with clients for many, many years, I noticed something which is very simple. It is the fact that probably 90 to 95% of people on this planet are not open to be in a polyamorous situation. They are not open to the idea of being in an open relationship. It means that their model is still about having just one lover or one partner and stay within that relationship. Why is it like that? Well, there is a deep embedded reason for uh, exclusiveness in relationships to be still the number one model on this planet. And the reason is because the family unit is still one of the core structures or social constructs that sustains society. It's through families that parents will give children the security, education, and give them a context in which they can grow and evolve in a healthy way. So, of course, you have all these divorces, you know, separations, children having multiple parents, step-parents, uh, you know, biological parents. So the, the family circle has extended. But the original model or the original idea of the family structure is still there as, as a model, as an ideal. So this is why for many people, when we start talking about open relationships and polyamory, it makes them feel really uncomfortable. And that's quite natural. And it's totally okay. You know, the polyamory model will only be a good match for maybe 5 to 10% of people on this planet. Okay? There are some regions around the world where even the topic is totally taboo. It's totally unthought of. So keep sim simply that in mind. You don't have to go into a polyamorous situation and you don't need to convince other people that this is, this is the right model for them. It might work for you because your personal blueprint, your genetic blueprint or your personal associations and what you enjoy might be a good match for that. It means that it might be a good match for you to be in an open relationship in polyamory situations. But for the majority of people on this planet, the model of committed relationship is still the one that seems to work the best. And it's okay. And it is the same the other way around. If some of your friends are in a, are in a polyamory situation, you don't need to make, fun of, to make fun of them. You don't need to discard their lifestyle as something that is not working. You don't need to find reasons why it's not a good idea. It's simply not for you and it's okay to disagree on the different lifestyle choice that you can have. The fact that it's not a good match for you doesn't mean that it's not a good match for other people. Okay? So I'm talking out of uh, you know, 12 years of coaching experience, coaching hundreds of people on these kind of topics and I notice that when I suggest a polyamory model very often in breakup situations where uh, two ex-lovers or partners want to stay in touch, I say, what about, have you thought about simply opening up the relationship? You know, many people will be like, sorry, not for me, 
I don't even want to think about it and I go like sure no problem you don't have to force yourself into that model but sometimes here and there are going to be people emerging which realize that yeah open love having more than one person in your life with who you share intimacy is the model they want to be into that's it for now polyamory yes or no is it for you um, you know tune in internally and find out what really works for you.